guys, we are back. This time we're gonna be talking about our theories about this case. All right, so we're gonna get right into what we think's going on here with everything going on with this case here. Uh, I'm gonna let Sarah uh, uh, start it off here, and then I'm just gonna go right off of her. So, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we talked about kind of our suspects. We talked about what was his name? The gross guy, Mike. Yep. We talked about Mike. And then now we're talking about Lee's mom, Vicky. Mm -hmm. And there's a few things about Vicky left. And then we'll kind of get into which one it makes more sense to you. Okay. So let's look into Vicky. Now, Vicky had just broken up with Barney. Barney had lived with them. Um, and wait, did I go too far? I did go too far. Sorry. Yeah, you went so. <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right. Um, police mm -hmm. also say that it's weird that Vicky took 15 minutes to call for help. So they're saying that she stalled during mm -hmm. that time, um, which it would have only taken her a few minutes to figure out there was blood and to call. Um, well, it was, I mean, go ahead. I was going to say with the, uh, what is it? So let's just say <laughs> she wasn't involved. It's one of those things where she sees blood and she starts seeing the trail. She starts finding following the trail. So maybe she's looking for Lee. And then after she didn't find her, after looking through the whole house, then she called. Very true. I'm Very just true. I'm not choosing a side yet, guys. I'm just I'm just trying to make sure we give everybody the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Very true. Uh, so it was also rumored that she made a call to someone else before calling the police, but I never found that as fact anywhere, Okay. but it could be, we don't know. Um, also when police asked Vicky about the clothes that Lee was wearing, Vicky knew what Lee had been wearing when she went missing, despite being in her nightgown when Vicky left the house. Ooh. So to me, right, it was like, whoa. But then I was like, did she go through and just find out what was missing? Okay. Or did she actually know? We and, don't get that fact. And with this being her only child, um, she could have prepared clothes, you know, because it's one of those things too, like, okay, so I grew up in a big family. Our mom didn't lay out our clothes before, then for the next day but with this being your only child you're still you're gonna baby that child so even though she's 13 years old you probably might get her clothes laid out before um so man i keep giving stuff to like trying to act like i'm trying to like i'm her defense lawyer or something <laughs> i object um <laughs> yeah, i object for my friends. <laughs> right <laughs> um People also just judge Vicky a lot for not showing emotion, um, which, like we said, nobody shows emotion the right way. There is no right way. Um, but people in town were like, something is weird there. Mm -hmm. And they just, they kept on that till the bitter end. Um, well, I bet they were expecting her to be falling on her knees, crying like, oh. Baby, baby, kind of a deal is what they were expecting her to do. But she, there's a, there's tons of murder cases where I've seen where they, a per, the person comes upon the victim or sees the aftermath of the victim and they are um, they're just shocked for days, you know? Right. I mean, the cops literally have to slap the heck out of them. Not really, but they have to do a lot of stuff or there's days that pass before they even get everything going so yeah and what we have to remember in this case as well is this is a disappearance mm -hmm. she didn't know her daughter was dead i mean we presume but like for that first couple little while like people do find missing children maybe there she thought there wasn't enough blood and she was holding out hope um mm -hmm. we just don't know yes um so barney passed away in december 1996 and Vicki moved to Michigan. Currently, her case is, this case of Leah, is classified as an endangered missing, and foul play is strongly suspected. Okay. If alive, she would be 40 years old today. Gotcha. 
And the age progression photos are insane. Uh, you see like age progression photos of like someone it's like, you know, two years ago, this was, this was a long time ago. Gotcha. Hmm. And yeah. So she went missing wearing a night shirt. I'm just pointing because I, I know you're going to put pictures. <laughs> right. <laughs> she was wearing a night shirt and a green, yellow silk underwear or boxer short type of thing. Okay. Um, she stood 4'10, weighs 95 pounds, blonde hair, hazel eyes. Um, and she's got, this is sad, but she had scratch scars on both of her legs and both of her knees had bumps on the skin. So we don't, maybe this kid fell a lot, Yeah. but there was just a lot pointing to the fact that there was something else going on. Um, she also remembered wore eyeglasses and didn't have them okay. at the time of her disappearance. So what are your takeaways of all this? What, who do you believe is responsible or do you believe we don't know? I think, I mean, I would think it would, so I don't think it was a random act. I don't think it was a random act because I, we don't know if the code was um, involved. Uh, so I'm just going to go off the fact that there is no, there is no touchpad there. So nobody can get in. So I'm thinking it's, they had to know, they had to know the family. So we've got Mike and we've got Vicky and Barney. Um, I think it could have been one of those things. Let's just, she, maybe she did make another phone call or a phone call was made to her. Right. And I bet you that phone call before she called the police might have been Barney contacting her. Oh, okay. Barney contacting her saying, this is just what happened. Like, mm. cause, okay, because my theory is kind of the same thing. Barney gets there. He shows up for some goddamn reason. You know, maybe he knows uh, Vicky's at work and he's going to rape late. So let's just, so he shows up. Um. Lee knows that Barney's not a good guy. They beat her and stuff like that. So now she's running away. Things escalate. She bonks her head. Now she's really running away from him. And now he's like, I'm going to get in trouble for this. Right. So um, maybe he knocks her out, calls Vicky, lets her know what's going. Vicky calls to do her little thing that they do. Um, gets there. Um, the 15 minutes before she calls the police is her and Barney disposing or finding a way to get rid of um and then uh so yeah and then the gla glasses uh Damn. yeah gonna meld them so that's what i think i i mean with oscar mike i think it was i don't want to say it was coincidence but i think it, it i think it was like they um <gasps> so a lot of people in church gossip, right? So Vicky was going to church with Mike. Vicky knew that Mike had some type of past going on where he did like to, you know, he was over-sexualized, you know, knew that. So that's when she told about maybe Mike's past and some of the secrets that Mike had. And that's why she was like, it was Mike because he has the tendencies to do that. And then later, Mike just acted like he usually do and got caught. Right. And then, then the police were like, uh huh, C, 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 C. And that got them away from Vicky and Barney. So that's who I thought. I, Vicky and Barney, I don't care how many times I was earlier, I was trying to defend them. That's who's check mark. They did it. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the lead investigator on these cases. I usually come back with that. I don't know. Um, I think both of the scenarios are likely. Mm -hmm. If this is, this is what makes me so sad is Lee's this 13 year old girl who could have been being beaten at home yeah. and then could have been kidnapped, raped and killed. Yeah. And that was her whole existence. Like, man, that makes me just want to punch people in the face. Yep. Um, I think that Mike was a bad dude, regardless. Yeah. I think we need to just keep him in jail, regardless yeah. of anything. Um, yeah, 
then I don't know. She moves to Michigan because she's surrounded by all those people who know about this case. You know, new life in Michigan now. Nobody knows anything about her. Well, I mean, if you, unless you're true crime people like us, um, they're gonna sniff her out. <laughs> but isn't that crazy? She is. She's just. She's at that pivotal point in her life. Lee was at that pivotal point in her life where she was starting to feel like an adult you know my mom's leaving me home by myself now I'm so confident in things like that you know and then this happens you know 13 yeah. like that's just crazy either I mean, way it's super sad yeah I mean just the craziness that people will do um there's good crazy and bad crazy you hear a lot of good crazy on the Joe show uh, <laughs> bad crazy that's what you hear on this show it's i just don't understand people yeah mm. so i will put the tupelo police department's number down below i mean they're still looking for evidence mm. this could be solved it could be not we don't know um i will say <laughs> i wish you all well except for mike kearns in general because uh mm -mm, that guy's creepy I will say, West Virginia PD, <laughs> y'all could learn something from the Mississippi PD. Yeah, they're in still investigating this. Still investigating it when y'all just gave up. But I don't even remember the case. I'm going to go back and listen to it. But th I knew there was just a bunch of stuff where I got heated on it. So West Virginia, y'all need to look at these guys. Okay. All if right. you guys, <laughs> it's very true. Uh, if you guys are screaming at us your thoughts, opinions, theories you can go to our social media um we're up on youtube uh facebook twitter instagram all the stuff plus patreon now mm -hmm. uh i've been just adding a bunch of stuff over there there'll be a bunch of more stuff um so yeah hit us up with your theories on this case that works for me Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say other than thank you for listening and come talk to me on social media. And okay, bye. <laughs> That's Sarah. You're just. <laughs> I'm Sarah. Hi. <laughs> and I'm Joe. We'll see you guys next time on Code 187. Hi guys, I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like any of the content for Code 187, please click that subscribe button, that like button, that share button. Help us out, help us grow. Um, you can find us on your favorite podcast platforms. Um, yeah, check us out on there. Give us some ratings. Um, tell us what you think. We're also across every social media on Code187, so we're on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I think that's it, um, and of course YouTube. So please, please, please subscribe um, if you like our content and spread the word. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.